Hey everyone. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. We had a fun filled weekend and uh, I'm exhausted, but I took the weekend off. So it was fun. I'm tired. I'm ready to go back to bed. <laughs> How is everyone tonight? So uh, Craig, you were first. Welcome. And Caffeinated Christy, how are you? Good to see you here. And Rita's here. On my way home from LA, had to tune in. My brother uh, just left there uh, Friday. He had a great time in California. Okay, I'm glad to know my sound is working because it said my sound wasn't on for the pre roll. So, how is everyone? How are sales right now? Are you suffering from summer slowdown like I am? We're going to be talking about an experiment that I did on Friday and I'm going to tell you exactly what I did and what I learned from it and if I would do it again and if I would change it. So lower Alabama. No, I don't think she was in lower Alabama. Hey Sue, how are you? Been battling a toothache all day. You know, I don't think there's anything worse than a toothache, maybe an earache. They're, those two tie for me. I. I can't deal with toothaches. I hope that you can get in to see a dentist right away and you get that taken care of because that is just the most, because it, it involves everything, your jaw, then it goes up into your ears. Like it just, ugh, I'm so sorry. Any idea what's wrong with it? Sales suck at, at the moment, but sold two things a few days ago, at least. That's awesome. Uh, sales have been okay for me. I've got uh, 13... I have about 18 to ship out. I just sold something a few minutes ago that hasn't even been listed on eBay yet. It's still on my draft. So I had to remember to take it out of my draft. So I was a little bit panicked because I went over to eBay to take it off and it wasn't there. And then I was like, okay, I just listed this. So listing still very slow sales. Yep. We're going to talk about that. So how do y'all like my shirt? This is, um, by so in love it's from one of the tunics that i bought the hundred tunics and sweaters that i bought Jania says i need a black light because it's so bright um it has an open back i don't know if you can see that right there um so it's kind of cool so i wanted to remind you that if you use the new coupon code row your boat with no spaces on my ebay store you will get 50 percent off your entire order and um you know, go over there and take advantage of that because 50% off. Hey, you're looking for anything. Feel better. I hope your tooth gets better. Rita says to you, Sue. I have 11, but haven't listed in three days. You have 11 sales. Oh, awesome. Cute. Like the blouse. Yeah, I wanted something bright tonight. Uh, very Southwestern looking. Yeah, a lot of the things are that I'm listing, Sue. Most of them are 3Xs. But this one is not new with tags, so it's shrunk. So it kind of fits me. Um, I'm wearing more of a 1X right now, so this is a little bit big. But a lot of the patterns that I bought from her were Southwestern, uh, you know, graphics, geometric. And I really like that. So let me see, check on my, let's go ahead and play some Juju while we're waiting for some people to come in. Hopefully you'll get a sale during the show. that gets it going guys so we're going to go ahead and just kick off with what i want to talk about i have quite a bit to talk about tonight uh got 60 drafts that i need to photo tomorrow awesome i don't know when i last listed just no motivation yeah that's how i was a few weeks ago remember when i did that video on burnout and focusing on your weight loss hey that's good that's good i'm so happy mercari finally got around to the four by six cycles oh they did that's good to know all right well, um, I'm still having wacko buyers. I'm still um, having trouble getting the um, strands 
to show up. I, it's better on my phone if I read the messages on my phone. If I read them from eBay, my responses aren't showing up. Some of her responses aren't showing up. So let's talk. I have two customers to talk about tonight. Um, the first one uh, did open a case against me today, which is fine. I basically told her to do that. So uh, see, let me see. Okay. So the first one was like this humongous paragraph. Like, look at that. You can see it. It's huge. Okay. Who has time for that? Okay, so it's about a, car a pair of Kato pants. It says, I got an email. Hi there. Happy. Hi there. I got an email reporting that my package with Capri's was delivered earlier, but it is not here at residence. Tracking number also reports it has delivered. Any suggestions or recommendations for tracking down where it actually ended up? Guess it's possible carrier marked it as delivered and plans to bring it out another day. Not sure what to think. No pick appears to be available to see if it looks like my front porch or not. My back door is behind the fence and I've already checked in yard as well. So she asked me any suggestions or recommendations and this was my reply. Hi, I would check with your mail carrier, post office and or neighbor. What's wrong with that? I answered her question. Here's what she said. Hi again, I have no way to reach mail carrier. Post office is closed and neighbors don't have. I would think you'd send a more helpful, friendly response. Shouldn't you be the one tracking down since you shipped it and are responsible for delivery? And I replied, please contact eBay. They will be glad to help. I cannot contact the carrier on your behalf. Thanks. So this morning she opened up a case against me, which all I did was upload the tracking that says it was delivered. But when I guess what irritated me was when she opened the case, she said in the message, uh, seller refused to provide tracking information. Well, that's not true. She had the tracking information already. I didn't need to provide it to her. She said it said it was delivered. So I didn't refuse anything and I made a suggestion and she didn't like the suggestion. So um, what will happen now is probably tomorrow the case will be closed because I uploaded tracking that shows it's delivered. I've already blocked her. And this is what I wanted to tell you guys. A lot of people tell me not to block bidders or, you know, block bidders lists, block buyers. But I'm at the point right now, I'm 61 years old. I have another job. I have caregiving responsibilities. I don't have time for people like this who are sending me essays and telling me things that are my responsibility that they're not. I just, we're not a good fit. Um, it, you know, when she gets it, finally, she's already angry. I think it's going to probably end up in a return eventually. I, I just don't have time for that. And I don't know how you guys feel about it. I know last time on my nightmare from eBay street, a lot of you told me to block that bidder, but then I have other people telling me not to. So it, it's just me right now. I don't, I don't have time for this nonsense and we're just not a good fit, you know? And it's just like, if you had a storefront, you really reserve the right to sell to anyone for any reason, you know? So it would also annoy you. Okay. Well, I'm glad because, you know, now we have this next one who also ended up on my block bidders list. But again, I'm having trouble finding all of these messages. She wrote me five messages within about a 10 minute period of time. I kept, it was at night and I kept hearing it go off and off and off and off. And I thought, you know, that's probably my buyer from the nightmare on eBay street, but it wasn't. It was a totally different wacko. Um, sorry to say it. So I may have to scroll down here a while because I know she sent me five. When I when I look on the PC, it's five. So one, two. See, I don't see five on here. So I don't know. One, two, three. I only see three on here. So I don't know. We'll read these three and then I'll go find the other three, other two. Um, on one apartment, nine tops for $10, she wrote, I don't see the actual length against the measurement of the picture. I just replied third photo, 24 inches. Now I don't know 
if she meant like Craig, when you take a photo and you have the measuring tape and I'll do that because my stuff was on a mannequin. So I don't lay it down atop. Okay. I don't provide that um, unfortunately for her. All right. That was one. I don't know why I can't see these others. Okay. Let's just go to the next one. That was one. Okay. The next one is on a Chico's easy wear. Uh, it says, okay, that's because it's, they've got them together. I didn't answer the first time she at, she's at 4 21 AM. <laughs> Woke me up. Are you sure these are the right measurements for an outer coat in a Chico style size? And of course it's 4 21 AM and I didn't respond. So then she at and a minute later, 422, she says description also says it's a pull on, but I don't think that's the same kind of pull on. And I responded three out three and a half hours later. These are our measurements. It's a pull on. If you don't have a zipper and you don't have a button and you don't have snaps to me, it's a pull on, you know, you pull it on. Okay. Um, so that's why I'm only seeing three because they're merging because I didn't respond. And then the last one is two more messages on a land's end uh, top. And it looks like this one ended. So I don't know if she bought them. It said these measurements look too big for me. 431 a.m. same day. I didn't answer because I was asleep. And then she said for a large. These measurements look too big to me. And then for a large, like 30, is this 431? So probably 30 seconds later. And I said, okay. And I just decided, I said, you know, if, if I can't even make her happy with my listings, that was three different listings. She's not happy with the way I worded it or showed it. She's going to find something wrong when, if she buys from me. So I just don't, I'm blocked her. I don't know how y'all feel about that, but I, I don't have time for it anymore. I don't, you answered the question. What more to do? They want you to do crazy. Did you, you did your part, Beth? Oh, just sold a skirt. You are good luck. Oh, awesome. I'll play a song for you in a minute. Sue says, it's amazing to me that some people have nothing better to do than basically harass sellers. That's right. Sorry, back now. Had to let the dog out. Well, you just missed the messages, Christy. <laughs> what can I say? That's okay. That's that's our life right now. We we let the dogs out over and over again, it seems. So let me play a song for Rita. She just sold a skirt. Here we go. You know what? Let me turn the sound down a little bit because Janet is watching a game. And I, I know she can hear it in there. And she's trying to watch that game. You could probably hear her yelling because she's not happy right now. <laughs> So happy you sold something too many questions it's never good nope it never is so let me put my banner let me know if you make a sale during the show and i will play a song for you um if you make a sale during my little pitch here i will go back up and read the chat so i have some notes here uh if i can pull them up so also I wanted to know if we have any birthdays coming up this week, let me know if we have any concerns in the community, like doctor's appointments, hospital stays, surgeries, please put that in the chat so we can send you good thoughts and prayers. And so now we're going to get on to the next part of the show. And so Thursday I looked at my numbers and um, I was down 19.3% uh, from last month um i got it down as low as 24 percent earlier in the week it was down 24 percent and it went back up to 19 percent down 
And uh, so I did something on Friday to try to help, um, you know, make that better. So let me show you what it is today. Why is it saying remove? So now I'm down 12.3%. So I've come up seven points, let's say. So I'm going to show you what I did in case you're interested. This was kind of drastic. Uh, this would probably be considered drastic for some of you. But I'm going to tell you what I did, and maybe you won't feel that it's so drastic when you figure out what happened. Because what happened wasn't what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> I mean, I really, you know, I didn't think this was going to happen. So what I decided to do was run a 50% off sale on everything in my store. Even if I listed it on Friday morning, it was going to be 50% off. But then I decided, no, if I do that, they can still make me offers or no, they can, yeah, they can still make me, um, not make me offers. But, um, if I run a sale, what am I trying to say? If I run a sale for 50% off, they can still use my 20% off coupon and then they'll end up getting it for 70% off. So I said, no, I don't want to do that. So what I did was I created a 50% off coupon. All right. And I, I did a 50% off public coupon, I believe. I also made a private one because something was funky with my public one, but I'll, I'll tell you what that was. Um, and so I made this 50% off public coupon that was going to run from, I think I had to run it from, I don't know, 1230 in the morning till 12, 12 the next morning something like that. Um, and then what I did was I sent out this coupon to 40 buyer groups and I sent it out in two newsletters. And this was all supposed to start on Friday. I wanted to do it on a weekend, but I was gone yesterday. And I, I literally thought, guys, that when I woke up Friday morning, I was going to have like cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. You know, like I was going to have like 20 sales that morning. I really did. And um because who doesn't want something for 50% off, right? In your whole order. And so um, I, I didn't want to have to be relying on my phone when I was going to be in the car all day. We went to the theater, we swam, and I would have to keep getting on my phone and taking stuff off Poshmark, you know? And so I thought, well, I'm going to do it Friday because I'll be home Friday. All right. So, well, I learned that uh, on Friday around noon, I had already sent out newsletters that morning. I mean, uh, buyer groups, like 40 or 50 of them. And I thought, you know, I'm going to do it again at noon because that's when people are eating lunch. They're checking their emails. Well, when I went in to send the coupon codes again at noon, it wouldn't let me do it. It showed all my other coupons, but it didn't show that one. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? And that's when I went and created a, I think it was a public one. I think I had created a private and then I had a public one and then or vice versa. Anyway, bottom line is that if your coupon, if you send out coupons on buyer groups and that coupon is going to expire before 24 hours is up, it won't show up. You can't send it out. So that, that was a lesson I learned. Um, I also put a 50% off banner on my store. And I don't know if you guys in the chat know how to put a banner on your store if you would like me to show you how to put a banner on my your store, please let me know right now. And I will do that on air and show you how to do it. It's very, very easy to do. So let me see where we are now. Uh, we are too many. Okay, we're, we've got the same questions. Okay, we're just listening. Okay. All right. Just put it in the chat. If you don't know how to put a banner on the top of your store that has a coupon and all that stuff, um, I'll do it right now. It takes very little time. All right. Then I sent the coupon announcement to my Facebook personal Facebook page. I sent it to my reseller rowboat Facebook page, and I sent it to my 10 of hearts store Facebook page. And then I also put it on my reseller Robo Instagram. So Again, guys, 50% off. I mean, that's a lot. You are, you're probably cringing like, why would you do that, Beth? 
but let me tell you what happened. On Friday night, before I went to bed, I had had seven sales that day, seven, okay? And only two of the people who, who I sold to used the 50% off coupon, only two. The other ones either made an offer or they paid for full price, which I doubt they did pay full price. What I, oh, that's the other thing I did before I set my 50% off coupon. I took all my sales away. Like there were no sales. Everything was listed 24 99, 27 99, 32 99, 39 99. I took all the sales off before I did that. Okay. So only two out of seven people even used the 50% off coupon code. <laughs> And I'm like, and it's right there. When you pull the item up, it says, use this code, 50% off your, say, your order. They didn't click it. Why? Okay. So then we have to go back to, um, okay, yes, please. Okay, I will just second. So while I'm sharing my screen here, I'll do that in just a second, Sue. So when was Thursday or oh, no, Friday? Friday, I grossed $208.20, and the day before was $106. So I grossed $101 more by using the 50% off coupon code. And, um, you know, so I did. I got more money, but it wasn't what I thought I was going to get. I mean, I really thought I was going to be getting all these sales and, you know, I don't know. And then today, so far, I'm at 191.90. All right, so we'll talk about that in just a minute. So let me go ahead and show you how you go to your door of your store. You go to manage my store. And, and I know how to do this because I just did this. So let me just see. Okay, use a marketing banner is right down here. I used to do this, guys. I used to put listings up here, but because I end 200 a day and relist them and everything, they were rolling off faster than I could come back and put them up. So I don't even do that anymore. But I add a banner. Usually I have a banner that says uh, use this coupon code. Okay, so here's a promotion. So your banner can have a promotion. It can have your eBay categories. It can have your store categories, or it can highlight one of your listings. So I'm going to, I was going to do my promotion. So you go over here and you can see that I have several uh, coupons here. Some of these are for people that, um, you know, they've, uh, we've had an issue and I have made a private coupon for them. Okay. Um, I think this one is, well, let's, let's just, let's just do today's coupon. I would never put today's coupon up here because I would have to change it every single day. And then, and then I would put a, um, a picture at, at a banner. So it says, it's going to say at the top, we'll show you what it looks like at a banner. And I always add my store logo to my banner and hopefully nothing, um, private is going to come up here. Okay. So I'm going to add a logo to my banner and I think I make it a little bit, well, I guess that's the best I can do. Save it. It usually looks fine. I don't know. I may have to make that smaller. I don't remember. And then preview draft. Let's see what it says. Extra 25% off. And it tells that, and I say save banner and publish. Okay, so when you go to my store now, you should see this banner. And but this is usually smaller. Okay, Sue. And so anybody that comes to your store should see this. All right. But see down here, they, they've got it on all the items. But normally I make it 25% on the banner because not everybody comes to your store, right? But that's how you do it. You can put anything up there you want. Now, I want to go back and take that off because in eight hours, um, this banner is not going to, this coupon code is not going to work. So I'm going to remove it. Um, yes, I'm going to remove it and and publish. Okay, so it's it's gone. It should be gone now. 
Let me just make sure it's gone because that's going to confuse people tomorrow. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. So that's how you do it. And I don't know. I just think it's just another way. You can put all kinds of things up there. So, all right. So let me get back to my notes. So let me see what else happened here. Okay. So while I did not make tons of sales, like I thought I was going to, I think this experiment did create activity in my store because I had a really good day yesterday. I'm not sure of that. Um, and I had quite a bit of activity today. All right. Um, but the next time I do it, I think what I'm going to do is two days, like a Saturday, Sunday, or maybe even a three day Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And that will give shoppers time to check their emails and then allow me to upload my coupon more times on my buyer group coupons. Because I think that's what happened Friday or yeah, Friday night. People were probably coming home, checking their emails. And then by the time or even Saturday, and by the time they got over my store, my sale was over and they couldn't use the coupon. Um, I, I'd like to know your thoughts, guys, because I think I think that's what happened. And so I just took a chance and it, it didn't hurt me at all. And I, I just want to have. I want to have money in my bank because I'm, I'm down as you can see. And I usually like to keep a thousand dollars in my checking account. I like to, I have to pay my bills for the home. I give, I give Jan a certain amount of money every month to go towards our bills. And then I like to have at least six, 800 or a thousand dollars to put in savings. And this month, if I keep going this way, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna have some to put in savings, but not as much as I usually do. And so I'm just trying to find ways to make revenue. So sure would like to know your thoughts on that, guys. And with that, we got to ship because we got a lot. We got a lot to ship tonight. Um, do I do this? I guess I do this backwards. I always every time I do this, I always forget which way I do it. So we're gonna try it this way. And if it doesn't work, try it the other way. Yeah, super easy. Yeah, it's super easy. And you're welcome. And I've never done the store categories one. I think Maggie has store categories on hers, but I just never bothered to do it. It's like, well, which categories would I pick? Tunics, pants, jeans, skirts, dresses. Like, I, I don't know. I might do it. My eBay keeps telling me I have two other things I can do. Finish setting up your store to help improve conversion. It says I have three different things I can do. Let's see what that says. Uh, featured categories, just in, use a marketing banner. So see, that's what they're suggesting. So probably should do what they're suggesting, you know. All right, so... Let's see what we got here. Okay, this is the one that just sold a few minutes ago, and it what hasn't been listed on eBay yet. Let's see what this is. They're going to be very surprised that they're getting this so quickly. It sold for seventeen dollars. Um. Why is it showing me twice? Ooh, let's remove that. This is doing weird things. There we go. Okay, so it's a westbound floral top, and it was listed a few days ago because it's still in my drafts. So last night, my mother and I went to Wicked, and um, we spent a lot of money on Uber. And the 
on the way home, the Uber driver, his name was Ricardo. I'm going to go ahead and shout him out. When we get in the car, he said, I, I don't know. He, I, I didn't want to talk to him. He was very chatty, and I was looking at my phone trying to take stuff off of Poshmark and stuff. So I wasn't really chatty, but my mom was chatting, talking to him. And he said, yeah, he goes, um, my wife and my kid were killed in a car crash. And I stayed home for several months feeling sorry for myself. This goes to Holly, by the way, in Houston. Woohoo. And he said, I, I stayed home for several months feeling sorry for myself. And then I just decided to get up and start driving for Uber. And I got to thinking about it. And I'm like, well, is he trying to get a bigger tip by telling me this and making me feel sorry for him? Because I'm being very cynical now because I get a lot of the, I don't know if y'all get these messages from people that say, hey, will you take $5 for this pair of jeans? Because I have cancer. I'm going through chemo right now and finances are really tight. And then you could really help me out if you could sell me this pair of jeans. Do y'all get that? And so, you know, if you're going to tell me that, I'm not going to. I mean, if I want to sell you that pair of jeans for $5, I'm going to sell you that pair of jeans for $5. You don't have to give me a history of your life and your finances. So um, do y'all get messages like that? Because I do. So I just didn't listen to the guy and I gave him the tip that I wanted to give him because I just didn't feel like, I just don't feel like that's something you tell people that you don't know. And um, I don't know. What do you think? You think he was trying to get a bigger tip? I do. Okay, this sold for $21.99. It was listed in May. This was before I used my new backdrop, and so it still sold. And um, But it would have looked a lot better on that gray backdrop, Craig, if you're still here. Yeah, see, because it's white on white. I, I couldn't, I don't know what happened to my stupid black backdrop I used to have. I mean, there's only so many inches in this office and I don't know what happened to it. This had real cool stitching on the, on the pockets. Let's see who this sell to. These are seven, seven size 12. They were capris and they were distressed nicely. So that's why I picked them up. I don't pick up much seven, seven, but this goes to Sarah in Massachusetts. Thanks, Sarah. Um, I do have a question. I watch, Hey, Lisa, I watched Adam's show last night at like one o'clock in the morning when we got home. Uh, we got home and took drank some wine and uh, kind of settled down from the show. And and then it was like before I knew it, it was like 1.30. So I went ahead and listened to his show. And they were talking about July 9th, the new shipping rules on USPS. And my question, maybe one of you knows, I try to give y'all tips. Maybe y'all can help me. What happens on July 9th on eBay or yeah, July 9th at midnight, I think it is. Are we supposed to be sitting by the computer changing our business policies? Like, I don't know what, what's going to happen. Like, I feel like this is like Y2K, you know, something is going to have to change because I have first class $6.99 and I have priority $8.99, $9.99, and $11.99. So I'm curious, what's going to happen to our listings? Is it going to automatically change to this new thing? Like, I don't think so. They're, they're combining, they're combining, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, they're combining first class and priority. It's going to go ground and not air if I'm read, if I'm hearing this right. And um, so therefore it will be arriving later. So a priority package that normally takes one to three days now will probably take longer depending on how far away from you it is because it won't be going air. If that's what I heard last night, like I said, I've been drinking wine. It was 1.30 in the morning and maybe I didn't hear it correctly. So Please help me in the chat if you know the answer to that. I'm going to start looking um, on YouTube in the next few days and see if somebody does that um, 
video. Never got that. I'm missing out. No pity messages received. Are you really never got one of those? Huh. Lucky you. Well, Lisa, if you join me at the beginning, you can hear my other, I have more wacky customer messages. I don't know. I knew she was going to report me because I told her to. I told that one lady, I said, just contact eBay. They'll take care of you. And I don't know what eBay does. I mean, I don't think they give her her money back. There was an option for me to give her money back, but I wasn't going to give her her money back. Because it's delivered. It's not my problem. It's not my problem. Okay, here's another. We've talked about this brand before, how it's so cheap. But it sold for twenty forty six. It was listed in October twenty one, though, so that's why it took so long. I don't pick these up anymore. The only thing I pick up are their um, swimsuit tops, and that is Bobby Brooks. This casual top one X. I mean, like Crystal said, you can get these at the Dollar General store now for like two or three bucks. So I don't. The only thing I pick up now are swimsuit cover-ups, and they, they seem to sell. Hey, Glenn, how are you? Hey, Mike, how are you doing? Next week at Sunday, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, Dumpster Diver Dad going to be doing a show on new rates with someone from USPS. Okay, I'm going to write that down, and uh, I will probably, I, I don't know, it's a Sunday, 8 p.m. See, I'll I may be live. I don't. Oh, that's Eastern time. Okay, mine's 8 p.m. Central. Okay. If I'm on, I will um, definitely um, rewatch it on the replay. This isn't letting me go back to my screen. This is like the first thing it sold on um, June 24th. When, was, when would that have been? 5.42 in the morning on Saturday. So anyway, when we went to see um, Wicked last night, the woman who played Elphaba was Olivia Valley, and she was the granddaughter of Frankie Valley. So she definitely has music in her blood. She was awesome. It was my mother's first time, and I should have done this, but I didn't think about it. The first half, she could not hear the, we were on the seventh row, but she couldn't hear the dialogue very well because she's hard of hearing. She doesn't have hearing aids. And so I could tell because every time they said a joke, everybody was laughing and she wasn't laughing. And so um, I said, you can't hear that, can you? And she goes, not very well. And she's like, I can hear the songs, but I can't really hear the dialogue very well. And so um, before the second act, I went and got her one of those hearing devices and that helped. And I felt so bad for her because she was really missing out. But that's okay. We'll go again. Yeah, it's going to be a live stream. Yeah, I figured that because we want to have people... Um, they, this is going to Darlene in Illinois, by the way. Uh, they want to have people asking questions, and that's awesome. Um, I don't know that the USPS guy can answer. I don't think the USPS guy can answer my eBay question, though. So I, I need somebody to answer my eBay question. Um, like, like, what happens when it's midnight? What does your listing look like? This is probably a good thing now that I switched to business policies last month because for, for situations like this. Like, I don't think I'm going to change my rates, but it needs to say, like, is it going to take all your priority and USPS in your first class and just switch it to that new thing? Like, that would be awesome. I don't think eBay's going to do that, do you? I mean, if they try to do that, it's going to mess everything. <laughs> Sorry, eBay, but anytime you change something, eBay, it affects everything else. That's this huge shopping cart of stuff. Okay, next one is a Liz Ware vest. 
Let's see where I sold this one for. Uh, I sold it for $19. It was listed in May of 2022. It's cute. They had this little applique down at the bottom. Oh, wait, wait. How can I get that? Ah. See the applique right there, the floral beaded applique? That was kind of cute, huh? Something must be going well on the game because she's going, yay. It's, I don't know if y'all saw the Astros game last night, but they called a balk on the pitcher, and it was not a balk, and we lost the game. It was really, I'm glad I wasn't here when that happened because she's probably was just like, a lot of people got thrown out of the game. And she was probably like screaming. She's very serious about her. Oh, we had an issue with her car today. She was driving and uh, this goes to Caitlin in California and she was driving and there was a dog that ran across the road and she slammed on her brakes and she turned to avoid the dog and she ran up the S1A. So now it's hard for her to drive her car. There's something wrong um, with the wheel. So we're going to have to have it towed tomorrow. Um, we're hoping it's just out of alignment, but she thinks it might have knocked something out on the front end. I don't know. So we're going to be down to one car, and I'm tomorrow planning to go sourcing. I never go sourcing on Mondays at the dollar twenty-five, but we have a baby coming any day now. And I'm going to have company for two or three days. And we're still waiting to find out, you know, when everybody's coming because we don't know when the baby's going to be here. And so I got to have, I got a source. I only have two IKEA bags left of clothes and that's it. And what's up here on a rack and that's it. And um, I think I have 80, I have about 80 drafts, but um, these, have, these don't have photos. Just like you, Craig, I'm in the same boat. I have the drafts written, but I don't have the photos taken. So that's what I'll be doing when I get back. My boss is in, out of the country for two weeks, so I'm really excited. I mean, I like my boss and everything, but things are, I'm in charge. And so, and there's not a whole lot going on because he's not there. So I don't have a lot of extra work to do. So I, it's going to give me some time. And I only have to go in once a week to do bookkeeping work. And I don't have to go in twice a week. So I'm real excited about that. And I'm hopefully I'll be able to get really caught up on all this eBay stuff. So I've been really conscientious in inventory my inventory every single day. And I'd really like to maybe pump it up a little bit and do more. I'm afraid if they, I'd be afraid if they did. I would too, Lisa. I, I think I'd rather it. I mean, it's going to be a pain for us, but I think I'd rather they leave it to the sellers. You know? Okay, this sold for $17.79. It was listed in April, and it's a very uh, cheap brand. It, you get it at, um, what do you call it, Walmart. Just my size. It's a tunic with a butterfly. It's, you know, and it sold for $10 plus shipping. And I, I never discount anything like that more than 10% per two years. Anything that can be worn in the summer or the winter. This goes to Ray, no, Mrs. Ray, so-and-so. Hmm, wonder what I should call her. Mrs. Ray, so-and-so. How would I address her? Oh, she's got her first, on the sale, it says her first name is Marilyn. On the label, it says Mrs. Ray so-and-so. Mm, God, I hope y'all didn't hear that. That was a really bad word my wife just said. Oh, my God. Did y'all hear that? And I don't want to tell her no because it's her prerogative to cuss in her own home. Okay. Hey, guys, can y'all hit the thumbs up button for me, please? That would be awesome. I need two more subscribers to get to 900. Two more. I'm looking for two more people. All right. 
right, let's see. <gasps> My mouse is just going all over the place. I wonder where Maggie is tonight. She's probably got company. So what do y'all like to talk about tonight? Uh, all right. There's such a lag here. I'm sorry. I wore my purple glasses tonight because they don't seem to glare as much as my uh, computer, my other glasses, my black ones. All right, let's see what's next on the... Oh, this is a men's shirt. A size 4X men's tropical shirt. Never heard of this brand before. It sold for $24.98 and it was listed in May. And I used to, years ago, when I first started selling on eBay, I picked up every single Hawaiian shirt I could find. I just thought they were so cool. Now I only really pick up the larger sizes, 3X on, but that's really pretty, huh? It's called Joe Marlin. So, I don't know. I've sold, out of the 100 plus tunics and tops that I bought, I've probably listed... Mm, 60 of them and I've sold two already but some of them are in my draft so they haven't actually gone live but two have sold already and for good money you know like I didn't know how much I was going to get them because I've never heard of these brands some of them um, like the sew and love that I'm wearing right now there's also a mint pineapple boutique is where they came from and the symbol on the tag means nothing. I mean, I've done Google searches. I've had friends do Google searches. And so I found one on Poshmark and they called it the house brand for mint pineapple. So I just put the brand as mint pineapple and they sold. It sold. So anyway, and I think I sold something that I got at the bins a couple of weeks ago too, but I can't remember what it was. It's already been shipped out. All right, Joe Marlin. I'm going to round that up to 12 ounces. Goes to Margaret in another Massachusetts. Good going. Guys, if you have flies or gnats in your house, I have told everybody I know, everybody in my family, we're getting, I even got one for my father's day, for my father for father's day, um, that fly trap thing that I did the product review on, man, it's catching flies, gnats, um, it's awesome, and I got a whole bunch of refills, and my daughter has a real problem with flies, because they live behind a retention pond, and so she, every day she's sending me photos of all these flies that she's catching, she's so excited, because she doesn't have to run around the house now with a fly swatter looking for flies. They just go in there and they die. It's awesome. My mom does that watching her games. Does she really? Oh, my grandmother used to be the worst. Oh, my grandmother had a mouth like, oh, my gosh. You know, a few years ago, I watched baseball and... My wife wasn't interested in it, and I don't know why. And all of a sudden, one year, she just got interested. And now, that's all we, we have bobbleheads everywhere. <laughs> um, okay, here's another brand that I never picked up before. This is a men's shirt. It sold for $24.01, and it was listed in October. And this is a typical men's shirt that I pick up. Okay, what happened to my screen, guys? What, what's the deal? So it's just my typical men's shirt that I pick up. 3XL, plaid, short sleeve, button up, collar, casual. It's Oak Hill, never heard of it. I'm trying to get more men into my store. And I've had a couple of repeat buyers. This goes to John. 
good old John, and he lives in San Francisco. So that's another California sale, of course. But at least it's first class, right? At least it's not a heavy sweater that has to ship in a box or something. All right. Now give me some topics to talk about, or this is going to be a very short show. Very boring show. Okay. Where's the review at? Oh, for the fly trap thing? I'll find it. I'll put it up here in a minute and uh, put the link in for you. I have to do this label first. They have all different brands though, Glenn. So, and they all work the same way. The only reason I got this brand was because the brand that I originally went over there to buy, they were out of stock. Cause when I bought it about three weeks ago, they, a lot of people were out of stock because people were finding out about it because they've been doing commercials about the raid one. And, um, yeah, so. Wonder if my daughter sent me a picture on. No, she sent it. Oh, no. Let me see. She sent it on, what do you call it? Text message. Krista. Okay. She sent me this picture this morning. She'd only had it how many minutes? 30 minutes. And she'd already caught a fly in a net. She was so excited. <laughs> That's upside so down. Anyway, she was so excited because she, she put it in the kitchen and she turned the light off in the kitchen and she caught one. Maybe we'll have a competition, although she would win because she has more flies than I do. So, all right, let's pull this up. I look blurry. Do I look blurry to you guys? Whenever I... Um, play it back to see if it's blurry. It's never blurry. And I don't, I don't know why that looks blurry on me. Okay. It's called uh, indoor fly trap. It was only like five minutes long. All right, there's the link, Glenn, or whoever asked me for it. Yeah, Glenn asked me for it. All right, let's go back. All right, next one. Torrid. So for $23.40. But it was just a, it was just like a little t-shirt. I've gotten some really cool torrid pieces the last couple of weeks that will bring a lot more money. But this is just, but it was an eyelet. See the eyelets? Isn't that cute? So, and it was a size two, which is a two X. Torrid, I'm finding really a lot of that in my, in my honey hole. I'm hoping tomorrow when I go, I, I don't imagine at, for a dollar 25, I'm going to find many good dresses that don't have flaws, but and I probably won't find a lot of good jeans for $1.25 because people probably have gotten them. But I do think I'll find a lot of tunics that people have missed. So that's what I'm, I haven't gone on a Monday in years. And I got to have inventory. If I don't get enough, I'll have to go back Thursday for $2 and fight the crowds. And I really don't want to fight the crowds. Last night... That's nine ounces. Last night, this goes to Lori in California again, San Jose. Um, last night when we came out of Wicked, when we came out into the lobby, it was wall to wall people. Just, they were all touching me and I started having a panic attack. But my mom didn't know I was having one because I don't think she's ever seen me have one. 
and I said, I have to get outside. I have to get outside. And, um, and so we went outside. Well, it wasn't any better outside. It was just, everybody was congregating, I guess, around the valet and we needed to get an Uber. And she's like, are you going to call the Uber? And I'm like, I can't call the Uber until I get out by the street away from these people. I can't handle it. I don't know if it was because of COVID in the past or pickpockets or just the fact that people were so close. I was getting claustrophobic, but I was, I was in bad shape there for a couple of minutes. I finally got her, Jania on the phone and, um, when I pulled up the Uber, when I found out, we didn't know, but the pride parade was going on last night. Uh, yeah, last night. We didn't know because Janie and I don't celebrate pride. And that's why the Uber was so expensive. It was super expensive. And um, I think my mom thought I was upset about the cost. And, and I kind of was. I was like, wow, it's like double of what it costs to come out here. But um but that wasn't the reason. The reason was I was just feeling so boxed in. And, um, okay, this one may be a 394. This one may be a Poshmark. Mm. Okay, this sold for $19. It's on Poshmark. A lot of my sales on Poshmark are $17 and $19, I think, because my top, my one shop is sending that out as an offer, because I've noticed that. So this is a pair of Suprema pants. They're pull-on. I usually put comfort in the title, but I didn't on this one. But these are very, very comfortable, and they went for $19. Why did you say no, Rita? What 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 did I ask you and you said no? All right, print. There's such a lag. Okay. This goes to Ramona in Kentucky. All right, so tomorrow is $1 day tag going to be there when they open. Oh, if you're blurry, I'm not blurry. Okay, well, now I'm not blurry, but earlier I was. So I guess it's just showing me that I'm blurry, but it's not showing you guys. Look, am I blurry? No, not now. I, I quit after we had that experiment a few weeks ago, and I kept doing that. And then I watched the replay, and y'all told me I wasn't blurry. I thought, well, I'm not going to worry about it anymore I guess it's probably just on my end I had to order more padded flat rates I'm getting down I don't like to get down past like 150 or 200 because I'm always worried they're gonna be running out and I ordered like a hundred priority A boxes before they stop using the priority A because they're a perfect um, box size to send like two pairs of jeans in or four tops. They're perfect. So that's why I use them for them. All right. Mark that as shipped. Next one. All right. What else sold here? Anna. Uh, 4220X. Okay, this sold for 19.54. It was listed in November. To wait for it to jump. That's a pretty top. I love that. I love the front of that with a choker. Like I probably wouldn't wear it, but I think it's lovely. Anna is starting to pick up for me. And I think the sleeves might have even... Oh, see, I put belt. They're like bell sleeves. Aren't they pretty? I love that. And it was new with tags. Anna's really picked up for me lately. Now, that was an extra large, but the 
is still, you know, sold. Bye, Lisa. Thanks for coming. Thanks for reminding them of the thumbs up. There's Adam. Sorry I'm late. Mike is having a two-hour live stream. Which Mike? Adam. And Adam, if you want to see some of my crazy buyer messages and my experiment that I did on Friday to get more sales during this uh, lovely summer slowdown, go back to the first uh, 20 minutes or, you know, first the show. I started it pretty much right away. I didn't, I didn't horse around too much. So I watched your live stream, Adam, last night about 1.30 in the morning when we finally got settled down. And um, so, and I sent you a, I sent you a comment about what I need to know about July 9th. I think you read it. All right. Okay. This goes to Giovanna in Jacksonville, Florida. Giovanna, that's a pretty name. That was a great live stream last night. It was very informative, Adam. Uh, somebody was just telling us about a live stream. It's, I think it's Rita is telling us about a live stream um, that's going to have a USPS worker on talking about the change. But that's not going to help with my question. I need the eBay reps to tell us. Hopefully, it's just going to be a matter of changing my business policies, hopefully. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we've got we've got some time. Although time is starting to creep up on us. I mean, this baby, you know, could come any day. I can't believe it's almost July and we're just waiting to see what they're going to do. If they're going to now they're saying July 4th, but then every other day they're going, "Well, we may have him early." I'm like, "Okay, well, all right, this is a brand I don't pick up very often. This is Allison Daly. It sold for $24.02. It was listed way back in September. They used my 20% off coupon. And I don't particularly like this pattern, but it's okay. I mean, I guess it's it's cute, but I don't, it's really busy. And that's not something I would probably wear. But hey, somebody liked it, right? And it was a size 3X. And 3X is a great size for my store. So. So it's to Denise. And Denise lives in. Who's Mike? Who's having a. He's filling in for Mike next week. He's going on a cruise. You're talking about Bearded Picker? I'm confused. I'm confused. Number one, who is Mike that's going on a cruise? I don't, as you can tell, I don't watch a lot of YouTube. I just don't. I, way back in November, a couple of years ago, I got rid of a lot of, um, YouTube channels because, well, I mean, I'm probably still subscribed, but I don't get notifications probably. Because it just, it, the, that was back when the notifications were driving me insane and I just couldn't deal with it. Uh, okay, this is 12 ounces. I'm trying not to make a mistake because I feel like I'm not watching this very carefully. She lives in Kentucky, Denise does. Thanks, Denise. Oh, flipping goodies, Mike. Okay. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> He's kind of in your circle, isn't he, Adam? Flipping goodies. He and I have ex exchanged a few emails in the past about um, 
because he he was doing i don't know if he still is but he was doing a lot of storage units and i told him i would uh be glad to take some clothes off of his hands if he didn't want them but so far we haven't he hadn't really had anything that i wanted so yeah i i thought he was uh uh wicked was awesome um the the girl who played Alphaba, the main character, she was actually Frankie Valley's granddaughter. And she had wanted to be Alphaba since she was 12 years old. And she was really, and, and I'm very picky about my Alphabas. So I, I really liked her. The Glenda was not my favorite. Okay, this one uh, was listed back in June of 2022. And it sold for $19.92. And it's going to jump. Oh, no, it didn't. Yep, it jumped. Always jumps. So this is a Liz Claiborne lightweight. I think it's a shacket. And I, yeah, I had it listed as a shacket animal print. It's cute. Yeah, Adam, you'll need to go back and listen to my what I did to try to get sales. You'll be a little bit surprised. I think I was anybody who was here earlier. Were you surprised by what happened when I did this experiment? Because I was. I was very surprised. Okay, we're going to do 13 ounces on this one, which is very lightweight for a shacket. And this goes to Susan in Arkansas. Thanks, Susan. So this is really kind of funny. We, we got there an hour and 20 minutes early, okay, because... I just would rather be early than late, you know, and then I got my 83 year old grand, about 83 year old mother with me who actually fell down the stairs, an entire flight of stairs on Wednesday. Okay. Didn't break anything. Can you believe that? And I didn't think she'd want to go and I surely didn't think she'd want to go swimming, but she did yesterday. She went swimming for an hour and a half and then we went to wicked and she fell all the way down the stairs, like 20 steps on Wednesday. So we get to the theater and we had to go upstairs or you could use an elevator. And I said, you want to take the elevator? And she says, no, let's go up the stairs. I'm like, crap. I said, I didn't think you'd want to see a staircase for a while after falling down a flight of stairs the other day. No, let's go up the stairs. So then we get up the stairs and then we figure out where our, you know, our seats are going to be. Can't go in yet. And they were like, well, maybe we need to go to the restroom before this, you know, the show starts. Well, they don't have any restrooms upstairs. You got to go back down the stairs. So I said, now this is like a big staircase. This is not just five steps. So I said, you want to take the elevator to go down to the restroom? She's like, no, I want to take the stairs. I'm like, okay. So we go back down the stairs. And then after we go to the restroom, we go back up the stairs again to go sit outside in the lobby waiting for them to open the doors. And then, of course, when it, the show is over, I said, do you want to use the elevator? No, I want to go back down the stairs. So we went back up and down those stairs, I think, four times. And, I mean, my mother is amazing, guys. She's just amazing. What was the point to this story? Okay, so the point to my story was while we were sitting outside in the lobby on this bench, it was a padded bench. It was so comfortable. We were people watching. I said, we're here for an hour and 20 minutes. We might as well people watch. But a lot of people wear, you know, green. I was wearing green. A lot of people wore sparkly dresses and stuff, and it was really fun. But we were commenting that a lot of people were wearing shorts, cut off shorts and flip flops and how, you know, how kind of rude that was and disrespectful to go to the theater, this fancy theater, this expensive theater, really, um, and wear cut-off shorts and flip-flops. And so while we're sitting there, this man walks over to the elevator. You know, he's standing there at the elevator, and he's wearing a dress, and he's wearing go-go boots, and he's wearing a purse, a very sparkly, outlandish purse. Now, I don't, it's not, I don't care, okay, but I didn't know what to say because, you know, my mom, she's 83, and I didn't, I was trying to pretend 
like I didn't see him, you know, because I just didn't want to start this conversation. And she goes, well, you see everything here, don't you? And I said, well, at least he's not wearing shorts and flip flops. <laughs> it was great. It was so fun. So, okay. This item was returned for remorse. Probably didn't like it or so. I just put remorse. They, and it and it resold for twenty eight eighty nine, and it was relisted in May. So I don't know when it was originally relisted. Uh, originally listed. I don't write that on there. I just re write that I relisted in May, and I put uh, if it was on clearance before, it wasn't clearance now. So somebody got this, and it just probably didn't look good on them. It wasn't returned for fit because if it's returned for fit, I write it was returned for fit. That way, if it's returned a second time for fit, I know I probably need to check my measurements. So remorse it is, and I got $28.89 for that. So this goes to Jeanette in Arizona. I think Jeanette might be a repeat buyer. I didn't really look at my repeat buyers. I didn't really look to see... Yeah, Adam, I was telling everybody I need two more subscribers to get to 900. So I'm still holding strong at that 898. Um, it goes it goes up and down a little bit for, for the last week. Knock on wood, it stayed at 898. So, And I wasn't able to. I did a private hangout last week, but I wasn't able to do a live. And that we've just got so much going on, but I'm hoping that maybe Wednesday or Thursday I can do a private working hangout. Last week I was busy trying to get my boss ready to go out of the country, and that I was doing a lot of stuff um, for him. Even when I wasn't supposed to be on the clock, I was dealing with a bunch of stuff. So, you know, I say I'm not on the clock, but I'm basically on the clock. I'm just not have to be available. All right. I think if they follow your listing, I don't know if they do, if they just look at it. Okay, Sue must have added, asked a question. Okay, I need to go back up, obviously. Consider him a friend, got that. Not anymore, mostly estate sales, and he sells a lot on Walmart now. Yeah, I knew he'd. Be, yeah, he does that cross listing thing. He does that. He still does that um, Shopify thing where he it takes off and all that. Is he still doing that? I don't. I don't keep up with them anymore. Does anyone know how eBay determines which item I should send offers to? They keep suggesting the same five to ten items. Uh. I don't know but if you're getting the same items over and over again that means you've got a really interesting item they're either watching it or they viewed it um, I thought you had to watch it if anybody wants to correct me in the chat about that I thought you had to watch the item not just view it I will I think if they follow your listing I don't know if they do if they just look at I think they have to follow up uh, I think they have to watch it yeah she's very fortunate yeah, they didn't even tell me about it. This is the kind of stuff that goes on. They didn't even tell me about it. She didn't go to the doctor. I tried to take her to a clinic. She wouldn't go. But they weren't going to tell me about it. And finally, my dad told me, he goes, well, you're probably going to figure it out anyway, so I might as well tell you. Their electricity was off. It was nighttime. She didn't have a flashlight. And she went to the bathroom, and she thought she was walking through the bathroom door because the bathroom door and the stair door 
are next to each other and she went through the wrong door. So if you're walking into a bathroom, you're walking, you know, at a steady pace. So when she walked out that door and went down the steps, she was walking, you know, like she wasn't just barely walking. She was like, thought she was going into the bathroom and my dad heard it and he thought it was thunder. And then he got to thinking, which I'm glad he did. He's like, I wonder if she fell because he would, he sleeps downstairs and she sleeps upstairs. Um, and he, so, and like he has a baby monitor and then she has the baby monitor to hear for him. Right. Cause we're taking care of him. And um, so he got up with his flashlight and found her at the bottom of the stairs. And I was just like, okay, and you didn't go to the doctor? No. And I said, well, let me take off and take you tomorrow. No, I don't want to go. I'm fine. She's sore, but sometimes it's other sellers also. The lady that uh, I blocked the second person I talked about tonight, the one that kept asking me questions. She was a seller because I went over to see what uh, feedback she'd left for people and she had left positive feedback for people. Um, and I noticed that she was a seller. So basically she was a seller telling another seller how to sell is basically what she was doing. And it pissed me off. So I'm not going to sell, sell to her. All right, this order was canceled. So somebody bought it, but they didn't pay for it or they pay for it and it got canceled. And I relisted it in February. It sold for $20.55. This is one of my favorite um, brands to sell. And when it cancels on eBay, I've already taken it off of Poshmark as soon as it sells. So once it cancels, I don't put it back on Poshmark. And this is a Leoma Love Grove. And I've sold this top several times before. This is the one with the lobster on it. And I love Leoma Love Grove stuff. They sell it at Kohl's. And as you, and as you can see here, this was a mistake. Um, unless, I don't know, maybe I need to double check and see if that one's on there. Watercolor 125. Let me go over here. Let me just make sure, guys, that it's not in my Poshmark closet because it still says it's listed on Poshmark. Come on. I'm having trouble with my Poshmark um, coming up. I don't know what's the deal with that. It, it's just like it lags. Watercolor 125E. No, I took it off. Okay. I just forgot to take that POS off there because that means it's listed on Poshmark. Let's see. Canceled. Okay. I took it. it yeah. They, I forgot to take it off. Oh, well. Oh, I already showed you that. So let me I just showed you her address and everything. Crap. I hear that there's a Facebook page where you can put block, you can put uh, eBay customers that have given you trouble and people can block them in their store. And um, I think that's awesome. But the, when I asked about that, they said, well, the problem is you, you don't know why sellers are blocking them. I mean, they may tell you why they're blocking them, but you don't always know that's the case. And then you're blocking people for basically no reason, but I don't know. I may just join it. I don't know. I think people need to know who these people are. I really do. My, I shouldn't, I should knock on wood because my nightmare from eBay street lady has not messaged me in about a week. I did hear from her last week um, and it, it wasn't crazy messages, but they were weird, basically telling me that she'd been to the dentist and, um, you know, I mean,
I mean, do I really need to know that she went to the dentist? Like, I don't think so. But still waiting for this printer, this printer to print. I'm just sitting there, not doing anything. This goes to Diane in Wisconsin, but her her label's not printing. I don't know what's going on. I may end up getting two labels for her. Hmm. I know I hit print. Let's try it again. Got a blue light, says it's ready. There we go. I don't know. Any more comments? I keep my bathroom light on, but if the power goes out, that wouldn't work. Yeah, she's got a night light in the bathroom. They were they were out of power for 16 hours. We had a really bad uh, storm, and they're farther north from me for about an hour, so um, they get the storms about an hour before we do. Okay, this is, I think I've sold this pair of jeans before and something went wrong. Or maybe these were relisted. Let me see, let me look on here. No, they don't say they were enlisted. They sold for $26 on Poshmark. They're women's Ariat. Is that how you say it? Ariat jeans. And um, I know my son-in-law wears Ariat jeans and he, he loves them. And I think his company pays for them. So they're size 28 flare jeans, boot cut. I put boot cut flare I'm always happy when I find a pair of Ariat jeans because they they do sell. They're nice pair, nice looking jeans. Do you ever see those at them out in the wild? Ariat. The men's jeans sell really well. So I think this is my first pair of women's I've ever had, really, to think about it. And I years ago at a thrift store, I bought a pair of Ariat shoes and I that was when I was dumb, when I didn't know how much to spend. I just started thrifting, right? I just started selling. And I, I don't know how much, maybe $25 or something. I probably pay for these stupid shoes. And I just, and they had like uh, steel toes in them. And I thought, man, I'm going to make some money on these. And I probably didn't even know how to comp things back then. That's how Olivia with an A. And so I bought them. I think I paid like $25 for them. South Haven, Kansas. And um, they wouldn't sell. I mean, I tried. I think I sold them for less than I paid for them eventually just to get them out of my store. So, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't like shoes anymore. There's too much. I remember days when I would just be outside cleaning shoes, cleaning shoes. And I was like, uh, this is so time consuming. But some people do a really good business with shoes if that's all they do but I guess Craig left because Craig's been very quiet and usually he has some smart ass comment to make <laughs> he must be gone I'm getting down to the wire here I think I sold something else that I have to go get later all right guess got me a Lula row here so let's see I don't think I got much for this Lula Road dress. You know, seventeen fifty nine. It was listed in April because it's an extra small, but it's a Carly, and I sell Carlys all the time. And this is the only Lula Road dress that I know the actual name of. Uh, Bridget's tried to help me, and it just doesn't make sense to me. So Carlys are asymmetric. They usually have a pocket right there. In the upper left-hand corner, I don't know if that one does. 
I don't think I would have put a Carly. I can't see the pocket though. But I don't think I would have put Carly. But it's a cute pattern. Look at that. But I, I don't normally put Carly unless it has a pocket. But so far, I, I just, I don't. I, unless it's new with tags. If it's new with tags, it always has the name of the style. But they do that on purpose. They give them names and they don't write them in there because they don't want you to read something. So this goes to Lisa in Virginia. <coughs> I'm getting really dry from talking. Adam, you do that too a lot when you're on when you're on live. I'm not drinking wine tonight because we had wine last night. And, um, I don't usually drink two nights in a row. It's it's amazing how dry your throat gets when you're talking for how long I've been on. Ooh, hour and a half. Yeah. I told Jane I would probably be on longer tonight. I'm almost done. Is there anything else we need to talk about before I go? Because I only have, I only have one more. I have a romper. To um, Rita got me on to jumpsuits and rompers. Thank you, Rita. And I have quite a few of them in my store now. I like them. I don't use the romper and jumper uh, size sleeve template though. Because usually the top isn't right. Usually I have like spaghetti strap ones and their rompers don't look like that. And jumpsuits. Come on, let's go, let's go. Pull this up, pull this up. So if you uh, are interested in a private hangout, I'll do Wednesday or Thursday. Rita, you interested in hanging out on Thursday at all? Let me know. You probably run errands though on Thursday, don't you, Rita? Like I said, since my boss is going to be out of the country, I in the afternoon I could probably hang out with people. I just will have to take breaks to uh, check emails and stuff, answer questions. All right, let's see what this last one is. Uh, thought I had some more Poshmark ones, but. Maybe not. Oh, this is a Poshmark. This is a Windsor romper. And I've never heard of this brand, Windsor. It only sold for $11. It was listed in April of 2022. So it obviously is a cheapo brand. But it's cute. You know, and it sold for eleven dollars, and I don't have to pay any shipping on that. So I don't know. It's very, very small, so it didn't take up any space at all. And it's saying I earned six dollars total. So I made a little over four dollars, unless I bought it for a dollar or a quarter or something. I have no way of knowing. I did. I don't write that in the. Poshmark thing. So that's the other thing. Tomorrow, when I go and get stuff for a dollar twenty-five, I don't know if I'm going to write a dollar twenty-five in the uh, SKU. I mean, does it really matter if it's a dollar seventy-five or a dollar twenty-five? I mean, the only people I tell are you guys, and I mean, does it really matter? I don't. I don't really want to take the time to write a dollar twenty-five and keep it separated, you know. Item separated. Here we go. Come on. Let's see who this goes to. This goes to Cassandra in Connecticut. We're missing a bunch of people tonight. They must be watching the other live stream. Let's see. Wednesday might work. I thought you were working. Okay, let me see. They have those sticky lights. I use those just in case the lights go out. Oh, that's a good idea. Wednesday might work. Tell me more about Wednesday, Rita. Yeah, I know you work every day till noon, uh, Christy, but 
if you get home afternoon, message me. And if I'm available, I can work with you. Um, you know, like I said, there's not going to be that much going on at the office. So I, I will be trying to really ramp up my, I want to get a bunch of stuff inventoried. I want to get a bunch of stuff measured and drafted and I uh, really want to take this two weeks to really try to get ahead and take care. Like, I haven't done my bookkeeping for May yet. One afternoon, I might do that. It only take me like 30 minutes, but I just haven't put the time in. I need to work on my podcast. I've recorded seven episodes now, so I'm trying to get to 10. And once I get 10 done, I'm going to start putting them out there. And um, there's a lot of stuff I want to do in the next two weeks. Excuse me. Okay, so that one is shipped. Thinking something else sold. Let me make sure I got everything. Oh, yeah, shorts 29. I didn't pull those. Why didn't I pull those? Okay, so these these sold and I didn't pull them. They sold for $19. And they're Catherine's shorts, and they have bling on them, or embroidery. They're cute. They sell for $19, so I have to remember to go pull those. Hmm, wonder why I didn't pull those. And I've done all the eBay ones. I have two that haven't paid. An apartment nine very sparkly dress. This is a cute dress. This would have been something great to wear a Wicked. A lot of people wear green, but a lot of people wear red, too, to signify the red ruby slippers. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, I love that. That sold and haven't been paid, hasn't been paid for. Sold for $26.99. And then a woman's, a Lan Bryant plain old uh, geometric top sold and it hasn't been paid for but it just sold earlier today so and it sold for a total of $20.99 so let me pull you guys back over and see what everybody's saying I'm home this week Wednesday the only day I'm not busy so maybe that day if it works for you okay well, I think I'm going to do a uh, working hangout, a private working hangout on Wednesday, as long as everything is going on. And it'll probably be in the morning, but I know your Pacific time. So maybe if I started at 10 and then people can just come in when they want, and I can just leave it up. Like I said, we can't go anywhere with Janice's car situation. We, we just can't. I mean, I may have to run her around the corner to her mom's or something, but you're on vacation this week. Awesome. Thanks, Beth. Night all. I have to go get up a little early tomorrow. Morning. Okay, Adam, I hope you'll join us for a private hangout this week. All right. Well, thanks, guys, so much for joining me. I had a great time, and I need to take off this banner real quick. And um, so anyway, I hope to see you on my next video or live stream. Until then, peace.